Hey you and someone, this is Dark Sage 101 and welcome back to Let's Play Fire Emblem The Last Promise. In our last episode we defeated Holton Cabell the Blood Reaper. <laughs> what a brutal fight. Oh my gosh. Uh definitely the hardest fight we've done so far. Uh I didn't actually count how many times I reset that. Uh feel free to actually leave it down in the comments. Uh of your guess of how many times I actually reset that fight because oh my gosh that was so hard <laughs> that was so hard uh, but as you can see we're at the end of the chapter we just got this little warrior left that I'm not worried about him you know actually you know what let's we do this mm. it kills him uh I'm gonna actually you know what wait 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 wait, wait. do I double him I double him with that I'll, I'll drop a safe state just in case. Just in case this is a complete mess up right here. Because I don't want to mess up literally at the end of the chapter right here. Just because of this one warrior. Okay, perfect. There we go. Easy experience. I just wanted to get that guy for a little bit of EXP. I'm pretty sure there's only... Is there a zero left? Yeah. Look at that. Heck yeah, dude. Alright, seize. Oh! Oh, got his axe! Oh, sick! Okay, I don't know who I'm gonna give that to. Probably, probably Mark. It's a really heavy axe, though, but hey, I'll take it. That's, yeah, that's Holton axe. That thing has like 25 might. Ooh, I'm looking forward to that. Kellick, I'm going to give the order. Do it. I'll gather our best. Sean, come with me. It's time we fulfilled your father's ambitions. Yes. And soon mine as well. That is a lot of green units. Goodness gracious. Rebels and freedom fighters. Consider this my final motivation for you all. We are at the doorsteps of the Emperor of Magnus himself. Together, we've proven our strength not in numbers, but the strength in our feelings for what we fight and believe in. Only those who are ready to lay down their lives for the content of Soul One Street join us inside the palace. The rest of you define, defend the castle and guard our backs. This is the final battle, so put your heart into it. Think of all the families, all the children. If we, if we by some chance don't succeed now, the continent as we know it would cease to exist. So for General Siegfried and all Soul, we will win. Wish me luck. This is it. Somewhere here. Mage General Galagar and the Emperor himself. They are waiting for us. Lipsus. Sean. Lipsus. Be strong. You are the man who will surpass your father. Because he is Anakin Skywalker. Anyways. <laughs> uh, not quite. I am your father. I, I don't know how to do a very good uh, Darth Vader. I do apologize. Hmm. Hello, Galagar. What's up? Why, hello there. Hi, Galagar. What's up? It's been a while. Galagar. The Mace General. So he was here after all. Oh, I'm here. I'm perfectly fine. I can't say the same about your Siegfried less game, though. Granted, it must be easier trying to wage a war without his misfounded leadership. You don't ex insult Siegfried. He's a far better leader than you or your emperor, that's for sure. Who is exactly winning this war, Gal Galagar? Siegfried's army or yours? I don't get carried away now. I've been attending to other matters elsewhere. Of course, when I heard Holton was leading the forces outside our palace. I knew I had to come back. Uh, Gallagher, bad news for you. Holton is dead, so there you go. <laughs> I got him last episode. That malevolent excuse of a knight can't protect our homeland, just destroy it. However, now that I'm here, everything is under control. I won't count on that. We will defeat you and your forces and end Magnus's era of the war. Every last politician in your corrupted government, down with the emperor himself. They're all going to die and you will be able to protect them. 
Ah, yes, you have a brother as a senator, don't you, Kellogg? But you don't appreciate him. You only want to kill your brother. I mean, your best friend struck down by your own blood. Painful, isn't it? What? How do you know of this? Don't you remember, Kellogg? We carts are, are easy to see, see through. You're just like Siegfried. People who let their emotions cloud their mind and people without the will to overcome their mental anguish. It's not very easy to read their minds. A mind reader. I still don't understand. That's impossible. There's no way he can know what's going through my head. You're easy as well, Anakin. You all are. Especially the sulking son of Siegfried over there. His father. It's not just your thoughts, but your very presence. I can sense all the ether seeping out of every light, every life form. You won't be able to even touch me. I know where you're going to attack and how you'll attack before you do. The large dispersions of ether used, wait, for, yeah, of ether from using all of my magical power disrupt this ability, but I'll finish you before it comes to that. Ha ha ha, you're completely out of your league this time. I'm the greatest mage this continent has ever known. Actually, the greatest mage is actually Lahar, but anyways, I mean, you literally said that. You literally said that you're stronger than me, Kalka. <laughs> uh, if you don't believe me, I dare you to come further. Okay, so he's probably going to be the, uh, the boss of the chapter. Uh, he looks like just a, an upgraded sage. We'll, we'll check him out. Urgh, that bad guy. Insulting Siegfried. Every time I see him, I can't control my own temper. The ether around him is so concentrated and powerful, I can understand. I know, I felt the same way. If we're going to defeat him, we have to take him out of his fighting comfort zone. That means we'll have to avoid him for now, but if we can get near the throne, he'll have no choice but to use all of our power on us. After that, it should come down to a showdown of wall power. I know, we don't have any time to lose. We can't let Galakar's words or anything else distract us. We have some sort of sort out our feelings on the way to the throne room. I'm also worried about this guy right here, this assassin. Probably has a killing edge. I mean, we're getting to the point of, we're probably close to the end of the game, so they're probably going to have good equipment like that. Okay, what do we got? What is this chapter? Oh, goodness gracious, this is a massive chapter. Hold on. Uh, view... Okay, uh, pressing all the wrong ones. Oh, oh, da, 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 da. Okay, hold on. Oh, gosh. Okay. That's, uh, quite, quite a big map. Am I right? Didn't I just call it? <laughs> 30 speed. Dude, this is gonna be super tough. Okay. Oh gosh. Okay, this actually looks kind of enjoyable though. Hello, Galagar. <gasps> Mystic Sage. He only has 15 defense though. What a piece of cake. 20 magic? Nah. Magnian Imperial General who lost his sister to assassins and is the greatest mage to ever live. Interesting. Level 25? I thought the max level was, tw was 20. Twenty-five res. Thirty speed, okay. <clears throat> Nine con. Let's see what, what he's got. That is a lot of stuff. Uh Luminola, Inferno, Valence, and Excalibur. You have all S rank? Ooh, 90 health. That's a Mystic Sage. An honorific bestowed upon those who have mastered the use of magic and ether. Interesting. Wait, let me just look at this. Okay. Cool. Alright. Well, let's go ahead and just check the equipment of these guys. Killing Edge, yeah, I knew that guy. 
Ooh, tomahawk. I actually need that. Shadow sword. Oh, he's all the way up here. Ooh, divine sword that they use to protect. Uh, way over there. Fumble vetter. Drizzle. Right there. Everything's like level 20 right now. Jeez. Okay. Uh, yeah, we can tackle this for a little bit. We can try our best. Got the obsidian. Oh, yeah. Uh, can you use it? Yeah, you can. Uh, do I have the con for it? Dude, Mark's gonna be a meat grinder, I can already tell. But that one, that is an OP axe. Okay, where are you, Mark? There you are. Actually, wait, 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 wait. Can you? No, you cannot use it. I was just wondering. Alright, Mark, here you go. Also, if you hear a noise in the background, that's actually my cat scratching on my door. <laughs> Hi, kitty. Okay. She's screaming at me. <laughs> oh, boy. But she doesn't know that there's a dog in my room, so I can't. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's put those in there. Wait, actually, Kevin, wait, 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 wait. Kevin, ah, Kevin does not have it. Oh, yeah, I do have Gary. Uh, trade with you, do that, and then do, let's just, let's just stay with that, yeah. Uh, that's that's steel lance. I'll just give that to. Uh, I'll just give it to Karina. Okay, Gary. Let's see here. I mean, I'm still really powerful. I mean, he's got 52 health, so he's pretty useful. Uh, let's see. Who do I want to bring for this chapter? Uh, definitely Rex. I I want to bring Rex. Uh, I guess we're gonna sit out. We could probably shoot out, actually. I don't know. I don't know. The guy's garbage. I'm sorry, but the guy is just absolute trash. Uh, I guess we're gonna sit out Sia for this one. Yeah. And you're, like, completely out of stuff. Do I have any, like, spare tones? Wait, what's your... Oh, your rank is D. Uh... Just tell me I have uh, like spare tomes. I don't. <sighs> Great, dude. Oh, yeah, I have this. Can I get that to Anakin? Oh, I can. Oh, sick. One, one minute. Do that. Really? Oh, because we got 19 magic and 18 defense? Well, that's a little bit broken. I like that. 16 might. Did he lose any speed? He doesn't. Oh, heck yeah, dude. Okay, well, that's a big buff. Excellent. Okay, so we don't need... That's all for us. Um... Uh, you know, I don't need Althros. We'll go Shadow. Uh, we definitely need Howard. Kind of just benching the ones that are like, you know, max level.
Uh, you know what? Nah. I'm not gonna use Atlas. We'll just use Rex. And then other than that, I think we're good. I think I think this is fine. Although I'd love to use Gary, but Gary is way too far removed. Look at this guy. I'll use him for the end of the game. Because why not? Because that guy is way too strong. Okay. Save state. Like that. And uh, let's try this. Wish me luck. What the heck? Okay, like I made it. Oh, Jake. Jake? Okay. If I'm, if I'm seeing you're here, this can only be one thing. Yes, it worked. I used the research notes and you gave me to make you a new sword. I brought it here myself. Just to make sure it wouldn't end up in the wrong hands. You had a long journey to travel all the way over from Athea. Also, uh, this guy is a hero. Um, can I recruit him? He's he's probably way better than Shuda. <laughs> like, please, can he be recruitable? I don't think he is, but I mean, one can only hope, right? I'm sorry, I couldn't pick it up myself. Don't mention it. I'm just glad I could get it on time. So what is it called? A sword like this cannot go unnamed, Jake. I never named it after a fairy king of legend who waged war against demons. It was said that he and his fairies cleansed the land of all evil. And so I called this the fairy sword a Erectress? I, I probably butchered that, but I'm just going to call it Erectress. Erectress, huh? I like it. I'm no fairy king, but I'm going to need the power of one to win. Don't worry, this sword has the ability to manipulate ether itself. Then with this sword, I will bring out every ounce of my power and canes. Thank you, Jake. This means more than you know. Hey, it means a lot to me, too. You don't owe me for this. Just do what you need to. I know. And I will. The Erectress. That looks so awesome. Hold on, let me get on my charger. Make sure my my uh, computer doesn't die. Because I kind of forgot to plug it in. Hold on. There it is. I was looking for my cord. Give me a minute. Come on. There it goes. Hey, don't give... Don't forgetting about... Don't go forgetting about us, Kellick. I'm here too, and we're going to do, we're all going to do everything we can. We carry Siegfried's will, and that will carry us, that will will carry us our victory. That will will? Okay. I'm not going to let them win. My father and, father and mother wouldn't let them. In my time as a mercenary, my sword has never been paid. As high as on, high as an honor as it has to as it has to fight as it is right now. That was a really weird sentence there, Shuda. I just hope I don't mess this up. If we are to win this, we must be sure of ourselves. Because of all the ideals, because of all the, all the all the ideals we hold are on the line. Okay, is this like Nurgle? Wait, is this the final chapter? This better not be the final chapter. Kellogg, let's do this. We both know this, but swords are the only way. Almost there. I'll make this battle the final test of my bow's maturity. Families across the world are relying on our victory. When I think of that, I know we can't afford to lose. Not everyone has a has a great has as great as a chance as we do right have wait we have right now we're here ready to strike down the people with the power to change the world we cannot waste this chance when so many others have sacrificed themselves just to get this far I can't believe my home country has come to this it's time I right some wrongs this aching in my heart that burns at the sight which which my soul is no longer found of 
I know. I know what must be done. Knowledge alone can't save us. We must take action. Magnus will be silenced. I'll hunt the treasures, and don't forget to protect me. Somewhere beyond here lie all of our worst enemies, and we don't, we won't leave until we give them retribution. Major General Galagar, Emperor Louise, the Senators, the Sword Emperor, and that necromantic druid. This is the final strike. Okay, so we gotta reach Galagar, pretty much. Uh, I can already see some kind of, well actually no, there's not any shortcuts, I have to, wow, this is going to take forever. This is going to take at least like three or four parts. Let's check the new sword. Erectus. Brings out potential. Okay, it's got uses. 17 weight? What? That's kind of ridiculous. It's really strong though. 1 to 2 range. Whoa. Okay, that is OP. Uh, should we try it? Let's check it out. Oh my gosh, that's giving me like a Zelda vibe. Okay, that is sick. <laughs> okay, that is an awesome sword. Yo. Okay, I like it already. Yeah, I'm liking that weapon right off the bat. Okay, that's actually, uh, that's kind of cool, actually. I'm also, like every other boss, I'm gonna do a couple, re a little research on Galagar. Uh, one thing is to see if he has a weakness. He, well, I think he's got a clear weakness, really low defense, he's only got 15 defense. Um... I don't know why I have ammo right now. I probably should have, like, benched her. That's okay. Wow. <laughs> That's uh, pretty powerful right there. Do that. We'll only do a little bit of this chapter. Yeah. Because... Already writing, uh, reading through all that dialogue took forever. Um, we'll get to probably like over here. <sighs> I guarantee you can hear my cat right now. Nice. Actually, let me just say this. She does this every night. <sighs> Got a crazy cat, to say the least. But anyways. Have to go there. 23. I don't want to waste that sword, though. Yeah, there's nothing on the sides. And then we can kind of slowly move up. Because there's no time limit in this chapter, we can we can uh, take our time with this. Ooh, I like the battle theme. Okay. Does he double? No, he doesn't. I was going to say, because the super rifle is a pretty heavy weapon. The heck is that? Oh, the clubs. 
Yeah, I think both those druids have the Eclipse. It's really inaccurate though, so I'm not worried. Okay. Interesting. Uh, yeah, I need to kill this guy to get that lockpick. Because look at all these chests. Oh, I need to get this stuff. There's probably some really good stuff in those chests. Can I kill this guy? Um, not quite. We can just do this. Oh, gosh, he hits hard. Let's see if I can finish him off with the... Where's Sean? Yeah, let's do Sean. Uh, can I kill that? I want to... Yeah, I want to kill that guy. Wait, wait, wait. Do you, you don't have anything. See, because I, I want to kill this guy right here. Oh my gosh, that Erector is just ridiculous. Oh, it's got a Brave effect. Okay, that's kind of cool. Uh, let's just go with this. Really, Kellogg? And... <laughs> really? Oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> Misses an 80. Hits a, get hit, gets hit by like a 38. Jeez. Oh my gosh. Yeah, well that's not a first right there. <laughs> I, I can't be mad about that. That is just hilarious. That was pretty stupid. Silver Lance. Uh, let's see here. Another blade. Perfect. See, can that assassin? That assassin cannot reach any part. Okay. Because I want him to only go for Kellogg. Hmm. Do I have any heal staffs in here? I do. Okay, sweet. Uh, we need both of those. Okay, give me that. Support with who? Okay. Excuse me, what is your name? Tell me your name and I'll tell you mine. My apologies, my name is you. I am you. Okay, anyways. I'm a scholar who is who was residing in Aegis prior to joining this army. And I am Zach, an archer from another continent. So it is the it's as they say, you're not from here. I can't say I am. I've only been here for a couple of years. One of it. I did not know that Magnus had discovered any land masses beyond the western archipelago. Ah, yes. My continent is northwest of those, a long ways past. I'm sorry, but can we f actually finish this later? I've been getting a lot of these questions recently. My condolences. I had no idea. We, we can finish finish whenever you're able interesting I did not expect both I okay I did not expect a support between those two okay so you got an eclipse oh you got Fenrir okay uh, you have like yeah yeah you have terrible luck seems to be with the uh, Kevin as well. Kevin has terrible luck. I'll put Kevin like right here. Th that should be good. Because I'm not going to move until I kill that assassin. Nice. Alright, there goes the Mithril Blade. I just needed to get rid of it. It's consuming inventory spots.
Probably should have equipped the, uh, the Phoenix Sword or whatever it's called. That infinite durability sword. That thing is awesome. Thunderbolt, okay. 25. Wow, these guys really do hit hard. Got a lot of long range spells. Oh, got another one. Really? Oh my gosh, I'm having the worst luck right now. With my magic power, I can warp myself anywhere I desire. Using my abilities, I'll strike their army when they least expect it. I'll have to rest my Ethereum sometimes though, and I can't use all my power. What the heck does that mean? Wait, 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 wait. Don't tell me he teleports to me. And he gets like a free shot on someone. That would be straight up cheap right there. If he if he's able to do that. Yeah, whatever, we'll just do this. Just get that that lance rake up. Oh yeah. It's always nice seeing a general critical. Yes! Perfect, you can use Leviathan. Awesome. All right, can't wait to use that. Let's see the uh, the damage output of that obsidian is as well. I'm really curious. Yeah, this is enough. All right, there we go, he's dead. Not bad. Luck pick. Uh, yeah, we're gonna save the Erectress for uh, probably uh, probably Galgar actually. He's on a thirty-three. Uh, let's see. I have a lot of enemies. Let's see. Sword, sword, and then sword lance, sword lance. Oh no, no it's a javelin. Tech in, like right there, I guess. Oh my gosh, that hits hard. Jeez, look how strong that axe is. <laughs> Dude, I'm so happy I got these weapons. Thank you, uh, Holton. I really appreciate it. Uh, yeah, go ahead and do Brabo. Blink. Blink. And blink. Actually, quick thing. What's Galagar's speed? Oh, yeah, he's got cap speed. Does he get weighed down by those things? He's got 9 con. Uh, yeah, he loses 5. Loses 3. Loses 11, and loses 4. Okay, so he loses speed no matter, no matter what, no matter, uh, no matter what. So I want him to equip that, the Valenced, and then I could just double him. Yeah, I could just double the heck out of him. I, I think that's the plan of killing him. I don't think he's going to be that hard. He might hit pretty hard. I mean, he's got 20 magic. He's not that bad, but still. We go with this. I'll do a couple more turns, and I need to end this off. Do have some stuff to do, or at least tomorrow I do.
And if you're actually wondering, am I burning myself out by actually doing daily uploads? Like pumping out uh, videos on a daily basis? I'm actually not getting burned out. <laughs> I, I'm like, I just love making videos. This is my kind of, what did he just do? What? Uh... He just teleported down here. Uh, can I kill him? Because he just teleported right where Kellic is. Uh, I think I can kill him, actually. It is definitely a high chance. Like, watch me be able to just, like, kill him before he even gets one attack off. I'm, I'm gonna straight up laugh. I'm gonna be like, wow. So much for that. He... What? <laughs> that is super unique, and I like it. Yeah, I can engage him. Look at this. Oh. Oh, I see it. Oh, because I, I have zero hit. With, oh, okay. So it's just like a trap. Ah, okay. And he probably moves too. Okay, so he's just like a trap. Because he's on a pillar, so we have zero hit. Ah, I see, I see. Wait, then that means it, like if he's on the throne, I don't know how the heck I'm going to hit him. Can I even hit him with this? What the heck is this boss? This guy's beyond broken. Look at this. Max skill. <laughs> that has zero hit. Oh my gosh. This guy, this guy's actually pretty terrifying. Okay, so I just need to straight up one run away from him. I think that's the plan. Pretty much just run away. Yeah, because I can't damage the guy. We have zero hit. I did not know he was going to do that. He, he said, he, he was like, I'm going to teleport uh, somewhere on the map. And I'm like, wait, what? And then he teleported right there. I'm like, uh, what? So he kind of just does that to, I guess, just slow me down. That's it. I don't really see any other purpose other than slow me down. Because I can just get out of his range. He only has, like, what? Six movement? What is, does he have a six or seven? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, he has seven. Okay, so he's got the same as a Cavalier. Lag. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Don't crash. No, 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 no. Come on, you can do this. Oh, jeez. Alright, big lag spike. He doesn't move. 
Huh. Alright, that is a confusing boss. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna... Yeah, I'm gonna do this. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and end off the episode here. Hope you guys enjoyed. This is a weird fight. <laughs> uh, actually, I find this uh, pretty fun. Compared to the... Well, actually, the last one was pretty fun. It was just the beginning part. And, of course, the uh, part of the end. It was pretty, uh, pretty unfun. The boss fight I found pretty fun. It was just hard. Like, oh my gosh, that fight was so hard. It, it was mainly, it was basically a puzzle trying to figure out how to, how to fight him. I had to use Anakin in such a way where, uh, where I had to use Kellogg twice and then I had to use Gary and then I had my Pegasus Knight finish him off. That, that was a really cool method. This one's weird. Because I can't hurt Galagar. So that's really interesting. Wonder if I have to get him to move. That's probably how I'm gonna kill him, is probably get him to move. I don't know. But uh hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you on the next one, which will be tomorrow. Um and we're gonna try and get about halfway through this chapter. I only wanted to do a little bit because we just read through a whole bunch of dialogue right there. And just optimize a whole bunch of stuff. So I think that's probably enough for a video. So yeah. See you on the next one. Goodbye.